Hey guys, it's Eric. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of a one-piece versus a two-piece Osmi appliance. Stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to just say that um, there's no right and wrong appliance. Everything that I'm going to show you is uh, based on just personal preference, whether you want to go with one system or another. I will be explaining some of the pros and cons to each of these systems based on my own experience. Um, but, you know, feel free to add your own comments to the comment section below. So let's get started with this. I'm going to start with the one piece system because this is the most simple system for an ostomy supply uh, and some people may be more familiar with this over the two piece. But when we're talking about a one piece appliance, what we're referring to is the wafer and the actual bag are fused together to form one piece. So there's no extra supplies needed. This is basically all you have to, um, to carry around with you if you need to do a basic ostomy appliance change. Now, some of the benefits to having a one-piece system is the fact that because there's no flange there connecting the bag to the wafer, it's incredibly thin. You really can't get much thicker than this unless you're going with an adhesive coupling two-piece, which I'll explain uh, later on in the video. But the one-pieces are pretty easy to manage. I mean, there's very little you have to worry about other than getting it on. Now, some people might find it a challenge, especially if they have an opaque bag. Uh, because they can't really see how much of the stoma is being exposed or how much of the skin around the stoma is being exposed. Uh, it's, it's hard to get like a perfect fit when you can't see what's going on like you can with a two-piece. So that's one disadvantage to this. Uh, another thing about one pieces is that they tend to be less expensive than two piece systems. And for some people that are paying for supplies out of pocket, you know, those dollars here and there will add up. So that's another thing uh, that I would say is a benefit to a one piece. Now, I know for some people who are um, really trying to penny pinch or they may not have insurance for supplies, Wearing a one piece might have another disadvantage in the fact that you can't just remove the bag and reuse that bag by rinsing it out and, and that sort of thing, which I know some people do with two piece systems. So that's obviously something that not everybody needs to do. But if you happen to be in that situation, one piece might be ruled out in that case. In addition to that, if you have to change your appliance early, so let's say, for example, you just put on a fresh appliance in the morning, and by the afternoon, uh, you've got some kind of leak or something going on with that. With a one-piece system, you have to change the whole appliance. That means your bag goes out with your wafer. Now, that can end up costing a lot of money if you're doing that often. Whereas if you're using a two-piece system, you can just basically remove that bag, change your wafer, put that bag back on if everything is still fresh on it. So if the filter isn't clogged and that sort of thing. Now for people who like to wear their appliance horizontally like I do, when you have a one-piece system, you basically have to set it and forget it, but you can't rotate it afterwards if you have that preference later on. So you're either putting it on one way or the other. You don't have the flexibility of, of doing it both ways like you can with some of the two-piece systems. Now, for some people who like to travel or just like to keep things simple, a one-piece system is a great idea because it's really compact. Uh, you can very easily pack them without any extra bulk. You only really have to order one box of supplies rather than two. Uh, you only have to manage one supply rather than two. So, you know, it's a lot easier to manage when you have, um, you know, accessories here and there and you need to, to, to keep these all together. So that's another big advantage to these. Now, for some people that have um, easy stomas, you know, they're not problematic. A one piece is probably going to work for them without any issues because, you know, they can wear their appliance for three, four, five, seven days, whatever it may be. And then they just change the whole thing and stick a new one on. So there's no real issue with that. Some of the disadvantages, however, with a one piece is the fact that if you have to change just the bag on its own, and for some people that might be because their filter gets clogged. In, in a couple of cases that I've had, I've actually had the bag tear on me or the, the actual outlet fail on me in some way. And there's no easy way to replace that if you have to replace the whole appliance. So when you have a two piece system, you can actually just change the bag on its own and then you're good to go. So that's another thing. 
So one other problem that some people may have with a one-piece system is the fact that you can't burp your appliance the same way you would on a two-piece. Now, for most people who are burping their appliance, they tend to just separate the um, flange area, let a little bit of gas out, and then snap it back together. On a one-piece system, you can't really do that. You have to go through the bottom if you want to burp your appliance, and that requires you usually to lay down, and there's a few extra steps there, so it's not as convenient. Now you'll notice one thing on the one-piece system that uh, you tend to see on the two-piece system, and that's the fact that they don't have the belt tabs. Now that's because on a one-piece system, really you're not going to have a risk of that bag detaching because it's all fused together. And that's usually why you would have the belt tabs on a two-piece system. Now some people may find that a one-piece system is more comfortable on their skin, especially if they have a hernia or some other kind of um, problem with the geography of their skin. So if it's not like a totally flat, you know, six pack abs, that, that sort of thing. Uh, some people may find that the flexibility and comfort of a one piece system is more preferred over the two piece systems. Especially when you're talking about a system like the Coloplast Sensor Amios, which happen to have a very flexible wafer. This it honestly feels extremely comfortable. There's no plastic there that you got to worry about. Obviously, there's no flange there. So that's an option for someone who really wants to go after comfort. But having said that, as we get on to the two-piece systems, I'll explain something that gets you kind of the best of both worlds. Now, moving on to two-piece systems. Two-piece systems are extremely popular. Uh, I tend to use two-piece systems, although I also use one-piece systems on occasion. But I find that two-piece systems, especially the ones with the mechanical couplings, have far more advantages over any of the other types of systems. And I'll explain those to you right now. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of examples of two-piece systems. One of them here is from Col uh, Hollister, and the other one is from Coloplast. Now, uh, from looking at the wafers, they seem to look pretty similar. There, there aren't too many differences. Uh, you can see here on the Coloplast wafer, belt tabs are actually on the wafer part rather than the bag, which is pretty unique, but I'll explain why. And on Hollister's, it's a very simplistic design, very minimalist. All you have is the flange there, and the belt tabs are actually gonna be on the back of the bag. Now, why do both manufacturers do that? Well, for some people that have high output stomas, for example, where their bag fills up faster than they can empty it, the weight of their pouch might actually create issues for them. So in some cases, and I know I've actually uh, been next to another person in the hospital who had a very high output stoma, and his bag would literally fall off of his stomach. It would, it would basically detach from his two-piece system, and that was a pretty big problem for him. Now, Coloplast has thought of a pretty ingenious um, way of correcting that without having to necessarily rely on the belt tabs because they're not foolproof. And on the Coloplast two-piece system, they actually have a locking mechanism. So when you combine the wafer and the pouch, you can actually snap this little lock closed. And that basically means this is not going to separate anymore. It is foolproof and it doesn't matter how much weight you have on there, the only thing it's gonna be tugging on is the base plate part, the wafer part, and that's why they put the belt tabs there. Now, both of these products are examples of mechanical couplings. I do have another example here of a two-piece system, but this does not use a mechanical coupling. It actually uses an adhesive-based system. So, for products that have adhesive couplings, what you're basically looking at is one flat section that usually has an adhesive, and then you have another section here on the wafer part uh, that allows the adhesive to stick to it. So once you remove the liner, you basically stick these together. Now the advantage of doing that is the fact that when you're putting your wafer on, you can make sure that it's around your stoma properly, make sure there aren't too many uh, big gaps or anything that might need correcting. You can basically align your wafer properly. Now, when you have a two-piece with a mechanical coupling, you just snap your bag on and you're good to go. With the adhesive coupling, you can do the same thing, but generally speaking, once that bag is attached, you don't necessarily want to be able, like you don't want to take that off. 
Part of the problem with adhesive coupling systems, and this is something that I've experienced and I know a lot of other uh, people have experienced, is that sometimes you might get a little tiny breach in the seal and that can create a leak. Now the leak won't happen under the wafer, it'll actually happen between the bag and the wafer. So that might be pretty inconvenient and that's why it's not recommended to pull that apart. Now a disadvantage with the two-piece uh, with the adhesive coupling is the fact that you can't freely rotate it the way you would with mechanical couplings. Coloplast is the easiest to rotate just like out of the box because that locking mechanism basically tightens the whole um, flange in place. When that locking mechanism is detached then you can actually rotate the bag pretty easily. With something like the Hollister or Convitac or other brands, that's not as easy to rotate, although you can still do it, and I have a trick for doing that. But some people might just actually remove the bag, rotate it, snap it back on, and then you're good to go. Now, as with the one-piece system, the two-piece system with the adhesive coupling is not a system you want to use if you like to burp your appliance. If you like to burp your appliance on either the one-piece or the adhesive coupling two-piece, I would suggest either doing it from the bottom of the bag, which can be a little risky, or going with something called the Osto Easy Vent, which is actually a product that you would attach to your bag, and it's basically a vent that you can open up gas will escape and then you close it up again. So that might be one option if you like to um, uh, burp your appliance or if you have a lot of gas that isn't effectively being removed by that filter. Now, as I mentioned, one-piece systems tend to be cheaper than two-piece systems. And unfortunately, that definitely holds true. Uh, you have to buy wafers and bags separately and that usually increases the cost by a few dollars. Certain adhesive coupling products I find to be more expensive. I'm not sure why, uh, you know, there's less plastic there, so I don't know if it's just the adhesive that costs more or what, but it really depends also on the brand that you're going with. Some brands are far more expensive than others. So there you have it, guys. That's the rundown, the differences between a one and a two piece appliance. Like I said, most of it's gonna be a matter of preference. Some people are just used to wearing a one-piece system because that's what they were wearing in the hospital. Uh, I actually went from a one-piece and transitioned into a two-piece, but as I mentioned, I do switch back and forth depending on what accessories I have on at the time. Now, one little thing that I have noticed, however, when I'm wearing a two-piece system that um, really bothers me about a one-piece system is the fact that while a two-piece system might be a little bit thicker because of that extra plastic on the flange, I find that that little gap of plastic acts almost like a stoma guard of sorts. So, for example, if... Uh, you have any kind of impact and you're wearing a one-piece system, there is literally nothing protecting your stoma from that impact. Whereas when you're wearing a two-piece system with a mechanical coupling, there's at least a little bit of a buffer there so that anything that hits or tries to hit will actually be hitting that plastic part rather than your stoma. So I find that actually to be a big advantage when I'm on roller coasters and other such um, fun things like that. So that's what maybe one thing to keep in mind if that's a concern for you. But for most people, you probably don't have to worry about that thing. So tell me guys, are you a one piece or a two piece user? Leave a comment in the section below and I'd love to hear your feedback on the different appliances that you've personally tried. Till the next time, see you in another video. Bye bye.